Welcome to Friday Sews. My name is Cynthia and you're watching Mountain Accents. Thank you for joining me today while I talk a little bit about what I've been sewing and a little bit about life. And I hope you'll stay tuned and watch it till the end. I'm gonna try to keep it very brief. I don't have really a lot of time for filming or editing. So I'm gonna try to get through this as seamlessly as possible and hopefully without any bloopers. But first, uh, I have not, life's been just very busy, uh, work, life at home, and just in general busy. But I have got a project cut out and have started it. And it is the um, Chalk and Notch fringe dress. I have cut a straight size six, I mean a 14, which is a high bust of 38. And I'm doing, it's got two bust options. Uh, full bust of, for AB or full bust of CD, and I'm doing uh, the CD version for 42 inch bust, waist of 33, hips of 43. Although my waist currently is a little bit larger than 33, I believe that there is enough ease that I should be able to fit it. And also it has darts, waist darts, and I should be able to adjust those and make them slightly smaller if I feel like I need a little extra room. But I am doing, um, this version here with the buttons and there's also a button on each tab and I, I contemplated whether I really wanted the shoulder tabs but I decided to go ahead and follow the instructions as it is written but I have lengthened the skirt by one inch and I haven't got very much progress made I'm using this beautiful lightweight cotton fabric that I received from Kristen at the Bahia Society. It is, uh, it became, it came in the Vision and Van Gogh bespoke box. And it has all these beautiful colors that I love. These are all, includes, yeah, all my favorite colors. I got the blues, the reds, the greens, and even purple. So it's a win. I'm looking forward to getting this made up. Now, I have not, um, I haven't got a lot of sewing done this month. I was very productive last month, but I've mainly fo focused on one project, and that is the quilt for my son. So, I am going to um, share that with you now. This is the quilt that I've been working on for my son. I've been working on it for a little while. And I'm not a quilter, but I really love the way that I've got these um, window paint, it what reminds, looks like a window pane um, blocks. So they've got the, the colorful blocks outlined with this um, green polka dot fabric. And then I put those, each window pane in a larger window pane with this navy fabric, which is also the backing fabric. And I've almost got it large enough for the size. I'm, I'm making a queen, and so I've got a little bit to add on the sides and the, the ends, and then I'll have this quilt top finished. I'm trying to decide what to use for the outside border. If you have any ideas, let me know. I had contemplated on adding in um, some of these um, fabrics and maybe cutting them into a smaller length and doing a border with that, or if I'm gonna do some more um, solids. But I'm still thinking about what I want to do to finish this um, quilt top. So if you're a quilter, or even if you're not a quilter, if you have any ideas of what you think might look good, leave them in the comments below. Now, a little bit about life. I've just been enjoying spending time with family when I'm not at work. I've gone on some little short hikes, been out on the boat, and also for the first time in what, close to 20 years, I have a plum tree that has finally bore fruit. One year previously, it had one plum that survived, 
Most years it either gets frostbit uh, in, or, in, or in the freeze of an early spring or it rains so much that the fruit rots and falls off. But this year it survived. And I'm gonna insert some pictures of my, my plums on the plum tree. And they are delicious. So that is what has been keeping me busy, picking plums, which is a great problem to have. Let me know what you've been up to. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. I want, like I said, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. But um, one other thing that uh, I wanna mention is, if you haven't watched my Spring Makes video, please watch it, especially if you enter to win my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm still waiting to hear from the winner. I haven't heard anything. So if you're out there and you enter to win, please watch the video and uh, send me a comment. I will put my email address in the details below. Thanks again for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Mm -hmm.